autonomous tillage. How do we need to go about thinking about this type of a solution? What is this going to do? And how is it going to help the farmers out there that are interested in this type of a solution? It's a tractor that's actually going to go run in a field without an operator in it. And it's going to do your, your tillage work for you, uh, whether it be in the spring or, or in the fall. And as for the, the, the next part of that, which is what does it mean for customers and, and why is it important and what's it going to help them with? It's, it's right now there's a lot of things going on, especially in the spring and the fall super busy times of the year and i don't think you're going to find a farmer out there that says i need probably more help in some of those time periods and so what this allows them to do is really to go take a, a tractor uh, a, a really a normal tractor with our autonomous uh um, autonomous perception system on it take it to a field start it and then go do something else uh most likely something maybe more valuable with their time or maybe more productive with their time than sitting in a tractor going back and forth, you know, in, in a field doing tillage. So whether that be planting, uh, getting the seed in the ground before the rain, or or maybe it's getting all the, the stocks ripped before the ground freezes in the fall while they go run the combine or, or haul grain. So it's really just trying to get more done in the same amount of time with really the same inputs they've always had. So you talk about all the different ways, whether it be the the planting windows or reallocating labor where you can you can go and do something different. Who the question I always get from people when we start to talk autonomy, you know, who is this solution for? Is it for just the big guys that have, you know, five tillage tools out there running? Or is this for a, a mom and pop operation, kind of like you're saying, being able to focus on planting while the autonomous tillage solution is is uh, out there in the field digging? From John Deere, where do we see this solution landing? I think the answer to that question is yes. <laughs> it's it's really it's anyone who needs to get more done in the same amount of time. Whether that's because they're trying to grow their operation, maybe maybe it is a, a mom and pop or and they don't have, you know, extra hands, it's just them. Maybe it's a father and son or a mother and a daughter, whoever it is, and they just don't have the ability to get more labor, but they're trying to get things done. Obviously, that's going to be a great opportunity for them to get what they need to get done uh, in a timely fashion. But then to your point, maybe on the bigger operators, it is that they have so much going on and they are spread so thin. It's a, it's a force multiplier, and they take the help that they do have and instead of that guy running one machine, he's now able to go manage two or three machines. We've seen in, in our you know early testing and, and out with customers that we've got all kinds of customers. And really, it's anyone who needs that efficiency bump without adding headcount. 